Sellers tend to overcomplicate the designing process for mugs. They think they need to be a great artist, an expert at Photoshop, or a certified graphic designer. Then they worry and question themselves how the heck they're going to succeed at this. Well, I'm here to demystify all these silly print-on-demand myths. While I do agree that you need to have somewhat of a creative eye to create great designs, this is something that you'll master throughout this whole journey if you stay consistent and practice. Eventually, over time, your designs will get better. You don't need to be an expert to start at all. In fact, your first 50 to 100 listings might suck and not even sell at all, but I guarantee that afterwards, it will all start to improve when you get past that experimental phase, is what I like to call it. Now let's take a look at super successful mug shops. What do they all have in common? They all sell simple text-based designs. Some designs may have a heart or two in them, but that's still pretty basic. They didn't go all crazy and artistic like these newer shops. Designs where there is too much going on in them typically are really hard to sell. A good quote to keep in mind when creating mug designs is simple is better, less is more. I'll repeat, simple is better, less is more. So then you ask yourself, what key elements do I focus on when creating text-based designs? How do I make them look cute and succeed? Well, it's making sure that it looks cute on the pictures that you're using, choosing the right fonts and colors, and aligning the text properly in your design. So let's talk about choosing the correct fonts that will make your design sell. Let's go back to the successful shops we were looking at and observe what fonts they are using. As you can see, mostly skinny, tall, and bold fonts are being used. This commonly used one is called Amatic SC. It is available to download online for free, and it is also free for commercial use, so you do not need a license to use it. Same applies to this bold, tall one, which is called Biba's Nui. Then this unique skinny font that is also popular is called the Farmhouse Ray Dunn Inspired Font. This one you do need to purchase. You can buy it straight from the Etsy site. I'll have a link down below in the description for it, as well as for the other fonts. There are many more fonts that will bring you success on Etsy, but you get the idea of what style of fonts do best. And those three are great to start with. As for which font color to use, save the risk and stick with a simple black for white mugs or a simple white for black mugs. Remember, simple is better, less is more. So now that you know what kind of fonts to use, let's get to designing. I'll be showing you how to create designs on Canva, and some of my designing methods that I personally use throughout my Etsy journey. So here we are on Canva. Click on create a design. Then I typically choose Etsy shop icon for the canvas. Go to text, add a heading. Click on this tab and here you can choose your font. Now you do need Canva Pro to use most of these fonts and to upload your own fonts that you purchase from sites. You also need it to save the signs with a transparent background, which is an extreme requirement. It's highly worth it in my opinion, and you can always mark it as a business expense for taxes. So two of the fonts that we mentioned are actually already included in Canva. Biba's Nui is included and a Matic SC. So let's go with the Matic SC. Let's type our text. So I'm going to type, don't touch me, peasant. So when creating a design, you want to make sure the line spacing is adjusted correctly. Right now, the words look too far apart from each other. Also, make sure you capitalize everything. The signs with capitalized words do best. So capitalize everything. I like to make the words really close together so that the words actually feel connected to present this message. When it's just me by itself in the middle, there is so much empty space on the sides and does not look visually appealing at all. 
So that's a very important factor when creating text-based designs. You want to make sure the spacing is right and that words are properly typed in lines where they will look eye-catching, creating a whole and complete beautiful design. Alright, so now I would like to show you one of my designing methods using the font Bebas Nui. So let's do the phrase, best dog dad ever. So I like to separate all the words. So what I do is go to duplicate, then type in the next word, dog. And what I like to do is align it and make it big. All right. Let's see. And then the next word. Make sure this one, this one aligns properly as well. Make the words close to each other. And then lastly, let's type in ever. And align this one as well. So this one will be smaller. All right. As you can see, everything aligns from the sides. This is a really cool designing method. It makes the text look really good. And that concludes today's video. I hope you received some value out of it that can help scale your print-on-demand shop. One last thing I like to do in the designing process is testing out my design on different mock-ups. Sometimes a design would look better on a certain mock-up if the lighting is better, for example, or if the overall theme of the mock-up reconciles well with the design. Until next time, take care.